everyone, I'm Christine from Yoga Berry. I'm a yoga teacher specializing in yoga for scoliosis. I run a Facebook community which you're very welcome to join if you or your loved ones, one of your loved ones have got scoliosis. It's called Yoga for Scoliosis Community. Um, you will find it on Facebook. I will also put the link into the comments. Um, so today's practice is going to be a short practice. It's going to be about relieving tension or um, pain in the hips. Now hips is a funny one. It's, it's quite a big subject. It's not funny if you've got pain, obviously, but it's quite a big subject. So it can be a number of causes really why you might feel tension or pain in the hips. So hip is a joint, obviously, so joints love to move but it could be a number of reason why, reasons why it's not working as it should be. There's a lot of muscles around that area as well that could be tight. So what we're going to do is going to be a gentle mobilizing practice and a little hip stretch as well. So just see how it goes. Just really observe what's happening and what makes it worse and what makes it better. So we're going to start in all fours. Have the hands directly underneath the shoulders, the knees directly underneath the hips. And we're just going to start to gently move the hips from side to side. Just kind of bringing a little bit of movement into this area. And then from there, we're going to take this into circles. So we're going to circle around the hands and the knees. And you can make those circles as big or as small as you want them to be, circling one way and then circling the other way around. Just always keep breathing, keep listening to what's going on, keep listening to your body. Circling the other way around again. And then coming back to center. Let's do a little bit of cat cow just to release the spine a little bit, which is obviously connected to the hips. Inhale, lifting the chest. Exhale to round through the spine, dropping the head. Inhale to lift the chest. And then exhale to round. Good, coming back to center. And then from there, we're going to come into lying down on our back. And we're going to bring the knees in towards the chest. So just rocking from side to side a few times. And then drawing the right knee in towards you, extending the left leg out on the ground. So actively pulling the knee in towards you. Extending the other leg out on the ground. And then swapping sides, so left leg in, right leg out. On the exhale, draw the knee in towards you. Good. And let's do one more side, one more time each side. Really drawing the knee in towards the chest, left leg extending out, so really flexing that left foot. And then the first side again. Second side, left knee in towards you, right leg out on the ground. Good, slowly release. We're going to bring both knees in. We're going to have the big toes together. Bring the hands onto the knees and we're going to circle the knees in opposite directions. So keeping the toes together and then use the hands to guide the knees in opposite directions. So this is really good to lubricate to hydrate that hip joint um, keeping it young keeping it moving so I'll just reverse the circles a few times and then release bring the feet flat on onto the ground we're going to cross the left ankle over the right thigh <laughs> just below the knee like this and then use the left hand to gently press that um, left leg away from you so you open the left side of the hip just for a few breaths 
and then bring the knee in towards you and we're going to take hold of the back of the thigh so the left hand goes through the leg taking hold of the back of the thigh just on the exhale and you might find quite a big stretch here at the outside of the hip of the glutes so use the exhale to gently bring the leg in towards you to increase the stretch you actively move that left leg away from you and lengthening through the crown of the head and the tailbone at the same time. Good. Slowly release. And then we do the other side. So right ankle over the left thigh, taking one hand through. Take hold of the back of the thigh. On the exhale, just gently drawing the leg in towards you and then actively encouraging that right side, right leg, right side of the hip to open. Keep breathing. One more breath. Good. And then slowly release. Good, so from there we're gonna do a restorative pose which is against the wall. So slowly bringing yourself up and just bring your yoga mat really close towards the wall and i'm going to have a cushion for underneath my head and then <laughs> this is a little bit of a funny one you want to start with your back facing towards the wall and then you're going to bring the left elbow down onto the ground and then bringing the legs up onto the wall so you're lying on the back like this and this is a beautiful restorative pose there's no weight um, in the pelvis like this so the, the thigh bones can just drop back into the hip sockets really helps to release the hips and then stay here for as long as it feels comfortable i'm going to slowly come out to talk to you but recommended time sometimes if you're just starting out it might feel um, that your feet are getting a little bit cold to begin with I would always um, suggest to wear socks as you do this as the temperature of the body starts to drop and then start with maybe two minutes that might be enough and then slowly work your way up um, ideally this is a pose that I would do every single day and I would stay there for 15 minutes and it's one of the best yoga poses ever um, really reverses the effects that gravity has on the body so I really hope you find this useful do let me know if you've got any questions I would love for you to subscribe to my youtube channel to join us in the facebook community and I'll speak to you very soon Namaste.